Okay, so question number two. Draw the Lewis dot structure for methane, which is CH4. Predict, I um, mean, according to the Vesper theory, what is the molecular geometry of methane and what are the predicted bond angles? Okay, so first we need to write the Lewis structure for methane. And to do that, we just need to find the total number of valence electrons for this molecule. Carbon has four valence electrons, and hydrogen has one. And since there are four hydrogen atoms, we multiply this by four, and we get a total of eight valence electrons. Okay, so now let's draw a skeletal structure, showing carbon as our central atom, since it is able to form multiple bonds unlike hydrogen, which can only form the one bond since it only has one valence electron. Okay, so we can draw four single bonds to hydrogen. And if we count out the electrons we've drawn so far, which each, where uh, each bond contains two bonding electrons, we already have our eight electrons needed for the structure. So now, when we analyze it, we can find out the molecular geometry and the predicted bond angles. So looking at the central atom, which is this carbon, uh, we see that it has zero lone pairs and four bonded atoms. So we can use a Vesper theory chart to see the type of shape and the different bond angles and also a lot of other different uh, identities of the carbon. Okay, so if we see by using this Vesper theory table, when your central atom has four bonded atoms and zero lone pairs. Its molecular shape and electron geometry is tetrahedral. I'm just going to write molecular shape and electron geometry is tetrahedral. So since there are no lone pairs on the carbon, the molecular shape and electron geometry would be the same. The carbon is sp3 hybridized. And the expected bond angles are 109.5 degrees. Okay, so the uh, junior tutor said that we first need to calculate number of valence electrons, so they got eight. And I don't think the picture is showing, but it sounds like they got the correct answer. Uh, tetrahedral electron pair geometry. And bond angles equal to 109.5. Okay, so this solution is correct. But I'll just describe what it looks like. Thank you.